Hey guys, my name's Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. Create a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to onboard a Windows Server into Microsoft Defender ATP. I've done previous videos to show you the supported operating systems here. And so in today's video, I'm going to show you actually how to onboard this particular device. I have a domain controller that I'll be going on to to enroll, but in here in the Microsoft Defender Security Center, one of the first things you'll want to do is go under settings and onboarding. You can select the OS up here at the top. So I'll select Windows Server and it lists these here. I have a Windows 2016 server that's running my domain controller. It's, it's being used as my domain controller. And you'll want to make sure the server device monitoring here is turned on. You can turn this on within this particular platform. Next, you'll want to install the monitoring agent. And so if you haven't already gone to that particular article, they link the article here. For some reason, it's not coming up. It's grayed out, but you can click on this and it'll take you into the, the full article that applies to the operating systems that are compatible. And then it'll take you through the methods available to you. And so with this, we'll now pop into the actual DC to run through the wizard. So here on the actual domain controller, I've installed the agent. I'm walking through the wizard here. You want to select the connect the agent to Azure Log Analytics and click next. From here, it will ask you to put in a workspace ID and a workspace key. That's where you want to go back into the security center here for Windows Defender and copy and paste in the workspace ID and the workspace key that you do see here onto the actual input on the wizard. So I'll pop back in and grab the key. Once that's in here, I can go ahead and move forward and click on next. And for this one, I just choose to not use Microsoft Update for the preferences. And then I'll finish the install here. After this is done, I can click on finish. And one of the last things I can, I can do is go ahead and pop back into the security center. And I can run a detection test by grabbing this PowerShell script. I'll come back onto the DC and I'll run PowerShell as administrator. And I'll go ahead and paste in that script. And if it runs successfully, it'll just close this window. I will give it about 30 minutes or so for the telemetry to be collected and reporting back in. But once that happens, you can come into the devices section here and you'll see I have this DC that I just added Windows Server 2016 and I can go into it here. This will say no data at first, but then, you know, as, as time goes on, it'll start to collect this. It can tell you the logged in users and all the normal telemetry that you're used to here. And this will pull up and, and give me exposure levels and things like that. So pretty simple, uh, but this is how you onboard a Windows Server into the Defender ATP service. That's everything I want to show you guys for this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, please like or subscribe if you guys want to see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.